Hi everyone, my name is Snoot. I'm one of the community managers at Coffee Slane Studios. And in today's video, I want to talk all about the changes we're making to the equipment system and the additions we're making to weapons in Update 6. So in Update 6, we plan to add a bunch of different ammunition types to weapons. Uh, the main reason why we want to do this is because we want to add like a little bit more variety to the weapons that exist in the game. We don't plan to, to like turn the game into like a first person shooter or anything like that. We also don't add, you know, intend to add like survival mechanics or you know make this into like an action game or anything like that it is still a factory building first and foremost uh, but we just, we just wanted to like expand sort of the tool sets that you have when it comes to exploration and when it comes to weapons and dealing with enemies in the game essentially before we dive into the ammunition types what i want to talk about are uh, some of the core changes we're making to equipment and the first piece of equipment i want to talk about are beacons so if you remember in the last video i put out uh, you can check the cards here you know what to do um, I talked all about how we're aiming to do away with beacons uh, because we're replacing it with this new like market system that we made. And I just want to clarify a few things when it comes to beacons, like the equipment thing. Um, because yeah, like, like I said, we're aiming to do away with beacons and this is both in recipes and as an equipment piece. So we plan to do away with all the usage of beacons within recipes um, and changing those recipes essentially. And this shouldn't affect you too much because most of the recipe changes are tied to like when you're constructing stuff in the workshop or when you're building buildings. The only exception is one of the alt recipes for uranium fuel rods that uses beacons in like the production line. We won't touch that yet, but we will change that recipe in some time in the unspecified future. Uh, but for update 6, that uh, alt recipe won't change. But anything else that has like beacons within the recipe um, will either be gone uh, from the recipe, as in like skip that part, or we'll kind of rebalance the recipe as a whole. But like I said, it shouldn't affect you guys too much in your production lines because the only like recipe that I use is, that's automated is that alt recipe. So the beacons will still be an equipable in the game it will still you'll still be able to like run up to the the workbench and craft one if you want to uh, but the main thing here is that once you place a beacon it's just gonna disappear um, and and show up on the map essentially as the new marker so essentially what's gonna happen in update 6 is like all the beacons that exist in the world and any beacons that you may place on the map they're gonna be converted to this new system that we made with the markers uh, with the caveat that you know once you remove a marker it's gone because you know you don't need to spend any resources to place markers and the same goes if you place a beacon that's then uh, turned into a marker, you know, those resources are going to be gone. You know, beacons will still sort of be in the game, but they'll be converted into the new system and essentially disappear. So hopefully this will clear up any confusion surrounding the beacons, etc, etc. And with that being said, let's dive into some exciting changes we're making to the equipment system. And let me just press tab, boom! And hopefully you'll see the biggest change coming up here, which is multiple body slots, baby! You guessed it. We're actually gonna do this for update 6. We weren't certain, but here we are. Um, so yeah, we're adding multiple body slots. You're gonna be able to like equip both the jetpack and the uh, gas mask at the same time. And like, look at me, mom! I can fly while being gas clouds at the same time. Isn't that exciting? Sure hope you guys think this is exciting because we worked so hard on doing this. So yeah, you're going to be able to use multiple body slots at the same time. One key thing here though to note is that um, we're not going to be able to like balance the equipment, the existing equipment, with this change in mind. Uh, we've mentioned this before that like the, the equipment that we have in the game are balanced towards having just one body slot. So having multiple ones might be a bit funky, you might be a little bit overpowered. So we will probably tweak this in the future at some point. Um, specifically looking at you, Jetpack and Blade Runners at the same time, you naughty dog. So yeah, expect that. But in Update 6, you're at least going to be able to like run around and, and equip all the stuff at the same time. Exciting times. We've also made an update to the HUD for equipment. So when you're scrolling through the equipment slots, it will show you like which, which equipment you have in your hands and which one are in the list, so to speak. And I'm about to absolutely blow your mind. Check this shit out. If you press H, So yeah, we've added so you can holster and all holster uh, equipment in the game now. Wow, fantastic. Can't believe we made it this far, right? Uh, that That's probably it. You can probably stop watching the video. Nothing's gonna like 
be better than that, okay? But but let's keep going anyways and talk about the other stuff. All right, so let's talk about weapons and ammo types. So we've added a bunch of ammo types for uh, a couple of weapons in the game. Uh, specifically, we added for the rebar gun, the rifle, and the nobelisks. Uh, they've gotten a bunch of items. No better way to do it than to walk over to my little uh, shooting range that are prepared over here. Uh, <laughs> Now, a key thing I want to mention here is that a lot of the stuff that I'm about to show you here are working in progress. This is really like the current state of development for these uh, ammunition types. So they may get tweaked in the future. Um, you know, their uh, via like their visuals might not be final. Um, so just bear that in mind. All right. So the way that this works now is that if you hold R, you will get this like radial wheel, and you'll be able to pick like which ammunition type you want to load uh, in the weapon. Uh, and you may remember from the Fixmus event that we added sort of this functionality for the snowballs. The reason why we added that was because we had this system in mind with a lot of other ammunition types. Um, so that's why that change uh, happened. And we couldn't really say why, uh, but here we are today telling you exactly why. So yeah, we still got the regular rebar gun. Uh, sorry, the, the regular like uh, iron rebar that the weapon comes in today uh, still functions the same way. So the first new uh, ammunition type that we've added for the rebar gun is the stun rebar. So the stun rebar is essentially shooting out another uh, rebar. Uh, what it effectively does is it gives deals a little bit of damage and it also stuns the images, uh, the enemies for a short amount of time. So this is great if you want to like stop like an enemy running away from you or uh, if you want to like stun an enemy and run away yourself uh, this is essentially what this is good for all right so that's the stun rebar the next one i want to talk about is the shatter rebar so the shatter rebar is essentially um it's essentially a shotgun <laughs> so it functions the same way as like a typical classical shotgun in games right um so it, it it sends out like a bunch of smaller rebars so yeah it essentially shoots out smaller rebars uh that split up uh, and, you know, deals damage over a distance. Uh, one key thing to note here is that the damage that's dealt from the rebar gun, um, it, there's no, like, damage uh, distance fall off. So, like, it's not like in any typical shooter where, you know, the further away someone is from your shotgun, you know, the less damage it will take. Um, however, you know, these rebars will split up. So, like, enemies will be hit by fewer of them. Um, so, in that sense, it will maybe deal a bit less damage from a distance. Um, but you know overall it, it will function pretty much like a regular shotgun in a game all right and lastly i want to talk about the explosive rebar so you name may suggest what this is so this is essentially the same kind of um uh, function as a regular rebar but when it collides with something it explodes <laughs> very fancy uh this one is a lot of fun when you're like shooting enemies and you're like leading sh the shot um, and uh, yeah, it deals a bit more damage than the regular ones. All right, so that's the rebar gun. Let's talk about the rifle. Before we dive into like the new ammunition types of the rifle, I just want to mention that we made some changes to the default one as well. So we've changed the uh, magazine size from 10 to 15. So you'll get a few more bullets uh, in each magazine now, so you don't have to reload as often. Um, by, by the way, this animation is a bit glitchy right now, like there's the hand kind of disappears, but don't worry about that, this is all set up. Uh, one other key thing that we changed is that the the uh, stack size for the, the magazine is now uh, 500 instead of uh, whatever it was before, I can't remember. Um, so you can now carry a lot more uh, shots with you as you're out exploring. So the first new magazine I want to talk about for the rifle is the turbo ammo. So what it essentially does is it turns the rifle into like more of a machine gun uh, with increased fire rate. So this is how it looks essentially. And you can release the fire rate and like keep it going as to where it was before. Um, or you can just let it rip and just turn into Rambo for a second. Very good. <laughs> it will keep the fire rate, so like if you keep holding it like this, you can get this kind of fire rate as well. Uh, pretty neat. The last new ammunition type we're adding for the rifle is referred to as the homing uh, it's got a different name here, but that's gonna change. So what this does, it's kind of like it kind of functions like the smart pistol in like Titanfall and stuff like that. So it will home in on 
uh, enemies and stuff like that. So with this, you just need to aim in the sort of direction of the, the enemy and then the projectiles will home into it. And last but not least, let's talk about the changes we're making to Nobelisks. So you still have the classical Nobelisk like before. Uh, please take note of the HUD, by the way. I haven't mentioned this, but the HUD also is a bit different for all the weapons and stuff. Um, so yeah, you still like the hold. When you hold it down, you'll throw further and more precise. You know, press right mouse button, you'll detonate it, etc, etc. So the first Nobelisk that I want to talk about is the Pulse Nobelisk. So this one deals not a lot of damage, uh, but what it does is it creates like a big pulse. So when you blow it up, it will like push anything that's within like a certain radius away. Uh, this is really great if you're like being chased by enemies and you want to like push them off cliffs and stuff like that. Another really cool thing you can use these for is if you've ever played Quake or anything like that, you can kind of do like rocket jumps with this. So, whoa, look at that shit. Um, so yeah, you can almost use this as like a way to traverse the map as well. It's really cool. Place one here and then... Shabang! Look at that shit. So really cool. Look at me go! I'm so far away now. <laughs> Sorry, I just had too much fun with this. <laughs> I forgot that I was making the video. Um, so yeah, really cool, really cool. Another really cool way to use this. Next up we have the Cluster Nobelisk. Um, so the Cluster Nobelisk is, maybe the, the name kind of tells the tale. Um, it's a regular like Nobelisk that you throw, but when it explodes it will like split up and cluster. So it will create like a bigger bang essentially. Um, this is really great for when you're clearing like debris as well. So if you have like a bunch of foliage you want to get rid of, you can just boom, 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 and then we'll get rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, and it also just creates like a bigger explosion barrier essentially. So it's it's really useful for like when you have multiple enemies uh, chasing you. One Nobelisk that we don't have quite fully functional in the game just yet to demo is a gas Nobelisk. The gas Nobelisk is essentially a Nobelisk that you throw and it will create like a poison gas. And any creature that's caught within this gas will like try and flee away from it. All right, and the last uh, Nobelisk that we want to showcase is the Nuke Nobelisk. Um... That doesn't look safe. Alright, anyways, now, uh, so the new uh, Noblesque is essentially just a bigger regular Noblesque. So, once you throw it and it explodes, it just creates like a bigger bang. Uh, this VFX is just placeholder, for the record. Uh, it doesn't look epic at all. Uh, hopefully the, the actual one will look a lot cooler. So yeah, those are some of the new animation types that we're adding to the game. Uh, really quick bonus round, few more things that I just want to show off just because they're cool. Um, some additions that we made to the UI as well. So you may have noticed uh, when I'm hovering over some of these items, they've got a little bit of a different uh, description now. So for instance, for the weapons and ammunition, uh, you can see that they're displaying like their damage um, and we take a little bit how like the recipes look like and stuff like that. And in the codex, uh, we've also kind of expanded a little bit of how this functions. So now you have the option here to click to expand uh, and it will show you like a bit more information about this stuff. You can also change like if I'm overclocking, like how many items do I need, you know, or if I want to say like I want to produce five per minute, you know, or 
Wait, in this case, like 10 per minute. Like, what does that look like? Do I need 10? Okay, cool. You get that information. And one final tweak we also made to the to-do list is that, you know, once you add this to-do list, we made it so that you can customize this a little bit more, actually. So now, not only with the to-do list, it also shows you, like, how many parts you need to make stuff. You can also leave, like, little notes to yourself. And when you close this menu, uh, it will still stay up in the HUD uh, and you will still keep your notes. So you can kind of create, like, little to-dos for yourself and, like, check them off. You can also do a little bit of text formatting. And the cool thing too is you can add like public notes and private notes. So public notes are for everyone, private notes is just for you. So you can be like, hey everyone. And then in the HUD, you know, they will show up as like public notes. And then you have your private notes at the bottom. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. I am absolutely done <laughs> recording this video now. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in everybody. Hope you're excited for the changes that we're making. Uh, please bear in mind that a lot of the stuff that we showcase today are work in progress. So, you know, they're not fully finished, etc., etc. Yada, yada, yada. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see each other soon enough. Bye bye.